All right, part five. Now, we've got the disc down, right? But there's a thing that each one of us can do, depending on which one we're high on, that we can do to just slightly tweak the way that we communicate with others. And I'm going to share that with you now. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. All right, we're going to start with D, the dominant one first. So if you are an I, a C, or an S, and you have to communicate with somebody who's dominant, here are some tips. One, when you communicate with them, be sure to give them the bottom line. Be brief. Focus your discussion narrowly. Avoid making generalizations. No blanket statements, please. Refrain from repeating yourself. Refrain from repeating yourself. And focus on solutions rather than the problems. They'll be much more receptive if you follow those guidelines. Next up, influence. All right, so if you're a D, a C, or an S, here are some tips with dealing with an influencer. When you communicate with them, make sure that you share your expectations. Allow the I style person time to ask questions, that's a big deal, and talk themselves because I's love to hear themselves talk. Focus on the positives, avoid overloading them with details, and do not interrupt them. All right, next up, let's say you're high on the steadiness and you've got a D, an I, or a C that's going to be communicating with you. Here are some tips. When you communicate with them, be personable and amiable. Express your interest in them. What you expect from them, that's right, expectations. Take the time to provide clarifications and ask the, and let them ask those clarifying questions. Be polite. Avoid being confrontational because they don't like that. And overly aggressive or rude. They will shut down if that's how you are. Last one. All right, if you're a D, an I, or an S, and you have to communicate with somebody who's conscientious, when you communicate with them, focus on the facts and the details. Minimize the pep talk. They don't really want it, don't really need it. Don't bring in any emotional language. So if you're angry, upset, or excited about something, leave it home and be patient, persistent, and diplomatic. Follow those tips and you can't go wrong.